What we're going to do right now is just go and have an overview of what the Merkaba is, um, how to use it, and the process of activation that we're going to go through today. So this is the star tetrahedron. It is the eight-pointed star that is located around the physical body. Where you fit at within the star tetrahedron is your head is about here. So you'll find that your head is the point is one hand above the head. Your feet are about here. You'll find that the lower point is about one hand below the feet. So you'll see that the star tetrahedron is located around the physical body and it is solid and stationary. It is connected to your physical being. There are two more star tetrahedrons. You could see them as energetic. They are the same size as this one and one of those star tetrahedrons will spin to the left 34 times, one will spin to the right 21 times. This is the ratio related to the golden mean or the Fibonacci. So again you have three star tetrahedrons, one solid and stationary connected to the physical. One spins to the left, one spins to the right. All three of those together at that speed and frequency create the Merkaba field. So to go through the activation process, uh, we first enter the sacred space of the heart by doing the Trinity breath. The Trinity breath has been used throughout time, space, and cultures. Uh, it's usually done before ceremony. It's just that grounding, that connecting the source and bringing both those together within you as the Trinity, earth, sky, and you. So we're going to do the Trinity breath and then from there we enter the sacred space of the heart, which we see the consciousness is a ball of light that sits right behind the pineal gland, right in the middle of the brain. It's what we see out our physical eyes with. So we're going to take that little ball of light, our consciousness, and we're going to move that right into the physical heart, the sacred space of the heart. There will be a small room there, um, and that's perceived as, for most people as a small room or a cave. Um, and you will enter the sacred seat of the heart, which is just settling your consciousness down. Once we're in the sacred seat of the heart, it is the place where ego cannot go. Uh, the only the only ones that can be in the sacred seat of the heart with you are those who walk with you, those that are there for your highest and greatest good. Uh, so you can trust all those that are in the sacred seat of the heart. The sacred seat of the heart is the place where the ego cannot go, so it's the place to make all the huge decisions in your life to do any of your dowsing or askings. So I'd like to share with you now the infinite heart technique that comes through from the Elders Three. This has come through from many other beings across, you know, the recent times. Um, this infinite heart, it's uh, just basically the infinity symbol, the uh, n the number eight on, on the side. So this infinity symbol, uh, when we use this with intentions, with connecting the sacred space of the heart, or just your heart center with the heart of another, uh, can make huge changes in both of your lives. Uh, so the Elders Three always say, well, find somebody that you have this, um, you know, these reactionary relationships with, like your boss or somebody at work like that. Um, and so all you do is you picture them standing right in front of you and you are creating this infinity symbol between your heart center and their heart center. You don't need to use your hand. You can just use your your imagination of watching this energy flow. Now when you're doing this connection, you're connecting heart centers and all sacred spaces of the heart, all hearts are connected. Um, and you're not connecting with their head, you're not connecting your junk and their junk. Um, so this is strictly from the heart center. Uh, so this is very beneficial. Now the other three say to, to do this connection with somebody that you're having these issues with because then you can see the huge transformation in your reactions to each other. Um, so try this uh, with that person. And try this with your loved ones. Um, this is a way to, to just share that energy, to share that connection. Uh, your kids across the country, or a loved one someplace else, or even just your loved one right there. You can send this connection of the infinite heart. And try this on a cashier. Uh, if you see somebody that's having a bad day, somebody at a stoplight. You see somebody that's having a really bad day, you do this heart connection with them. And just watch. It is a truly an amazing and powerful tool. Okay, now we'll have uh, Melissa come in and we'll just do a quick demonstration of what this activation process actually will be like. So, we'll enter the sacred space of the heart. And then once we both enter the sacred space of the heart, that is where we will do the connections from heart space to heart space. Are you in the sacred seat of your heart? All 
Right. So this is where we create this infinity. And again, you don't have to use your hands, but it's just a nice way to to flow that energy. And now then we connect soul to soul. Well, hello there. And when you recognize a person uh, on a soul level, you usually have a smile or a giggle, so it's all good. And so the next, we will take that deep breath in together. And pop that Merkaba. Entering the sacred space of the heart. We begin by visualizing yourself standing on your favorite spot in nature. That place on Mother Earth where you're the most in love with Gaia, the spirit of Mother Earth. And as you are standing in your favorite spot in nature and you're sending your love to Gaia, she sends her love back to you. So as we take in this first breath, we breathe in the energy of Earth and we breathe that up into our feet and allowing the energy to slowly flow up our legs. This is a unconditional loving healing energy that we're breathing in and it flows up to your knees and your thighs and just breathing this energy into the body allowing it to permeate every cell of the body and in between every cell of the body as it flows up to the chest and bring it all the way up to the top of the head and then just allow it to settle back into the heart center Next, we're going to connect up with Source, Creator, God, whatever you call the higher power. When we connect up to Source, we bring that energy from Source down into and through our local sun. As we bring the energy of the crystalline structure into our body through the local sun, allowing us to hold more of our true essence. Next, from Source, Sun, we bring that energy to our soul. We see the ba point above the head, around six feet above. So we're going to bring that energy from Source, Sun, Soul, and then bring that down to the crown of your head. And again, as we're breathing in this energy, it is a unconditional, loving, healing energy. We're just going to allow it to flow down our head, into our chest, and again, just allowing this energy to permeate every cell of the body and in between every cell of the body as this flows all the way down to the toes. Now next, we're going to breathe in from both earth and sky. We're going to connect up with the energy of Gaia, with the energy of Source, and we're going to bring both of those into your chest at once. So as we take that deep breath in, we're bringing in both Source and Gaia, and we're mixing both those energies together with you. That's Earth, Sky, you. This makes you a very powerful being. You are grounded, you are connected, and you are right here in this physical plane. So next, we're gonna visualize our consciousness as that little ball of light that sits right behind the pineal gland. This ball of light is what we see out our physical eyes with. We see the world and us. It's this little consciousness ball that we're going to move right down into the sacred space of the heart. So as we take in the deep breath of both earth and sky, mixing the two together, as you release that breath, move that little ball of light, your consciousness, down to your throat, and then drop it straight down to your sacred space of the heart. As you drop down in the sacred space of the heart, look around to see what you see. It could be a cave, a small room, an ocean beach. Whatever it is that you see there, just trust it. Just feel. If you cannot see, ask that the lights be on. If you still can't see, just feel. We're going to be feeling or looking for the sacred seat of the heart, a place to settle your consciousness down onto. This could be a beanbag chair, a pile of sand, a throne. Again, trust whatever it is that you are seeing there. And just settle your consciousness right down that sacred seat of the heart. And just settle in there. Now then you can move back up to your head and just feel the difference of being in the heart and the head. And again, let's take in the deep breath of both earth and sky, mixing both those energies together with you, earth, sky, and you. Release that breath and drop your consciousness straight down into the sacred space of the heart. Find your seat and settle in right into the sacred seat of the heart. Wonderful. 
Now open your physical eyes, and this is being in this world and in the sacred seat of the heart at the same time. I ask you to take a deep breath in and breathe out everything within your being that isn't now. Take another deep breath, cleaning and clearing yourself of all things throughout your day, all things that no longer serve you, all things that bother you and worry you. Let them go now. You are in this space now, in the sacred seat of your heart. You are clean and clear. You are grounded, you are protected, you are connected. You are a very powerful being. Before we begin this Merkaba activation, we're going to do cleaning and clearing of contracts, entities, and all lower vibrational energies that are no longer serving you. So here we are, sitting in the beautiful medicine wheel in Buffalo Gap in the Black Hills, South Dakota. And we've come here today to do a clearing. Close your eyes, picture your favorite spot on nature, and allow all the love that you have for nature and Gaia to go down into the center of the earth, wrapping around the rose quartz, sending all your love to Gaia, and allow all the love that Gaia has for you to come back up into your feet and all throughout your body. Breathe the energy of Gaia into you and into your heart. Now imagine above your head your higher soul self going through the sun, through the center sun, all the way to source. Sending all your love to source, creator. And allowing all the love that source creator has for you to come back through the center sun through our local sun, into your higher self, into your body, allowing it to flow through all the pores of your body, resonating in your heart. Take a conscious breath of earth and sky, and now drop into the sacred space of your heart. Sit down, nestle down into the sacred seat of your heart. I am that I am. I am one with Source Creator, Mother, Father, God. I am one with Gaia. I am one with all aspects of my being for my highest and greatest good and the highest and greatest good of all concerned. I call upon all those who walk with those who walk with me for my highest and greatest good to be in my circle of healing. And I call upon all aspects of my being to come in and resonate for the highest and greatest good of all. In the circle of healing, I invite you in. I invite you, all those who walk with those who walk with you, and your higher self to step into this circle. I call upon Archangel Michael to open up the window for all the beings to cross over, all beings that are no longer serving you to cross over. for the highest and greatest good of each and every one of us. And I thank you, Archangel Michael. I ask you to visualize yourself standing in a beam of light. And as you're there standing in your beam of light, look out around you and say, do I have contracts? If the answer is yes, I ask you to visualize those contracts in front of you. Know that this is a time of free will, and it is a time of dissolving all things that no longer serve you. So I ask you to accept to dissolve all contracts that are no longer serving you now, aligning space, time, and dimension, aligning all aspects with now, 
I accept it is so. And I ask Archangel Michael to come in and open up this window for all beings released from contracts and take all these beings now for the highest and greatest good of all. And I thank you. As you're standing in your beam of light, you visualize a circle around you. And this is your circle of influence. And if you look in your circle of influence, you should have your angels and guides that you were born with. But sometimes there are guides that are ready to help us. And we just have to invite them in. So I ask you now to say, all guides who are there for my highest and greatest good, I invite you into my circle now. And I invite you in to help in all the things that you can help with for my highest and greatest good. I accept all the help that you can give me now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful. And now that you've invited your guides in that are there to help you, that are for your highest and greatest good, take some time, take a moment to ask who they are how they would like to help. Connect with your guides. My guides connect with me through signs, symbols, sometimes through people and what they say. It's almost like a bell is ringing. And I say, oh, I've heard that before. Our guides communicate with us in many ways. We just need to pay attention and listen to the subtle things. At this time, I ask you to invite Thoth, or Metatron, into the sacred seat of your heart to activate your Merkabas for your highest and greatest good. So now take a deep breath from Earth. Take a deep breath from Source. And now one from Earth and Source. Swirling the two in your heart, mixing earth and source with you. And now, drop that little ball of light that's your consciousness. Take your deep breath and drop that down into the seat of your heart. And now we're going to connect heart to heart with the infinity. And now we're going to connect soul to soul. And now imagine the star tetrahedron within your heart and take a deep breath in. Imagine that star spinning and when you blow out, you pop your Merkaba. Some of the things you may want to program your Merkaba with intentions are for my highest and greatest good. I really like connection with my guides, having clear understanding of the communication between my guides and I. And I always set my intentions in a positive way. So if there's something I desire, I ask for it in the positive light. I accept a beautiful, new, great car that gets amazing gas mileage. Everything that you desire, just put it in there. Thank you. Thank you. So, let's see. Um, what else do we need to cover?